Okay, here's my uh, new additions to my HP85 system. This is actually a, a new HP85, my second unit, uh, which suffers from the ailment, the usual ailment that the tape drive doesn't work and the printer belts needs to be replaced. So I'll repair those two in the, uh, another video. But I uh, I got it mainly because it had the uh, drive unit it came with it, and actually this is. Uh, one of the few things that uh, worked I saw as I plugged it in. So good old floppy disk drives and as the HPIB interface which uh, makes it special. And uh, what I really wanted to show you is the uh, new plotter that I finally got to work after a bit of wrangling. So let's see how that works. So as uh, all the HP systems, you have to give it the right commands. So that one is mass oops, storage is, and it has the funny address of D7 for the HPIV and 00 for the uh, HPIV address and see if we can read the catalog of the files cat. Uh, it works as if it were new. Uh, so I have a nice one here, nice demo for the plotter, which is uh, sinus x over x. So you go load, don't forget the code, sign x2, Boom. I should be loaded so if I do a list there's a short program of in basic to uh, plot sinus x over x so it's, it's fairly simple the beauty of it is uh, so easy to command so let's see how that works over here Alright, ready to go. I'll hit the run key and I'll see what happens. Run. And that's a beautiful plotter. So I had to do quite a few things to get that thing to work right. Uh, let me take you off the tripod and show you. The problem where so the main issue, apart from the few things not working on the plotter, like the on button and the uh, the plotter pen wasn't going up and down, was that the scheme was an unusual RS232 interface. You can see it's at the incredible speed of 2400 boats per second and I tried to make it work with the uh, serial interface uh, on the HP85 but that didn't work it could uh, write to it but not talk to it but, uh, but not read from it so I had to make this special cable and uh, get it into an HP IB to serial interface and now it's back to HP IB over here this is a uh, I don't remember which unit that is uh, and uh, program it to uh, the problem was the, the control character that the uh, the plotter was spinning out uh, was not the one that it wanted to see in the ROM so I had to uh, change that and then finally it worked look at that I love those mechanical plotters so in my haste I uh, forgot to uh, give the detail of what equipment that is so that's an original HP 85A the, the first model tried and true uh, the disk unit is an 8201M, 
five and a quarter inch floppy disk. And uh, the plotter is actually one of the later units, but I, I prefer it to the earlier, it looks better. It's a 7225B plotter. Pretty hard to find. I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, had much choice and I only got this one with the wrong interface, but you know, nothing like a little bit of cable hacking could solve. I can see, see that I went in and rewired everything. And that unit is, and I can't find the model number on it, uh, it's an IEEE 488 to RS-232 converter. Oh, here's the, here's the cap. I had to open it up because I couldn't, um, I couldn't uh, power it up with the plug that it had. It's a Micro 488A. Uh, which is uh, which works very well, but it's a complicated beast to uh, set up. You have to get every one of those switches perfectly right uh, to configure the two ports, the IEEE and the RS-232, and this was a royal pain. But finally got it to work, and it's pretty. And this is so much fun. I thought we'd do a, another plot on the 7225B HP plotter. So you take a clean sheet of paper. Loading is actually kind of fun because it's an electrostatic uh, holding process. So you just uh, hit the chart load button and the electrostatic field comes on and it's stuck. A very elegant solution. And uh, let's see here, on, back on the HP85, do a catalog of the files. I have a little metric ruler drawing program here that uh, I adapted from actually one of the example in the manual itself. Boom. Load ruler and then uh, it will load it from the disk. There we go. Should be done. Doesn't tell you anything on here when it's done, so you have to watch the little light. And here's a little basic program, it doesn't take very much to do all this. Uh, and then you just hit the run key. Run. And off we go. And it doesn't take many instructions to do all this, it just draws a rectangle and then a uh, the ruler is actually the axis for the plot. And that's an example that I took from the original manual. I had to uh, get the original manual to uh, debug how that thing was going. There is no one to download from the uh, internet. And if everything goes well, it should do it to scale. So I like this units where the there is a, a large XY stage. The later units, they move the paper instead of the pen, which is of course a better way to do it, but it's not half as fun to watch it do. So you go chart load, and it should release the electrostatic stuff. And here we go. And you put it next to your other plots, and just for checking that this thing is Still doing good, should be 10 centimeters. And it is 10 centimeters. Perfectly. 10 centimeter metric scale. That's a load of fun.